The next function we'll take a look at is pretty quick as well. It's called char length. And what it does is it just tells you how many characters are in a given string. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So it looks like this, char underscore length. And when we do it on hello world, we could count the characters. So one, two, three, four, five, six for the space, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 11. And we get 11. At least my slide says we get 11. Let's verify that. Can't trust those slides, whoever made them, me. So you can see we get 11. Um, so if we changed it and just added a bunch of stuff, we won't count it, but it says that's 31 characters long. Okay, so we could do something like select and let's just print out the author last name this time. So author L name comma, then we'll also side by side print the, char uh, the character, the character length of the author's last name. So it might say something like um, Carver, and then next to that, one, two, three, four, five, six characters. And Eggers, also six characters, and so on. So it's just going to be our author's last name, followed by the number of characters in their name. So character, char length, author L name, just like that. And let's put an as here, and we'll just call it, uh, we'll just call it length, just like that from books. We'll hit enter and you can see we get this nice little table with our author's last name and the corresponding length. So we've got a lot of authors who are six characters long or their last name is six characters long and then you know we get Smith who's the shortest and so on. We'll see later on how we could sort things and um, order them differently but for now we've got them all here. All right. So just like before, if you feel like you have a grasp of this, feel free to move on. I'm just gonna show that we can also combine character length. So what I would like to do is end up with a, a result that looks something like this. Eggers is, and then six characters long. So I'd like that for every um, author that we have. So if we break it down, this is going to be author's last name, concatenated with is, concatenated with the character length, concatenated with characters long. So it's gonna be kind of a big one. So let's, let's try it out. We're gonna do a select concat, and the first thing we'll concatenate is the author's last name, so author L name, and then we're going to concatenate that with space is space, so that gives us this right here. Then inside of that, we're going to add char length of author L name. You can see this is getting kind of long, comma, is, excuse me, not is, space, characters, long, and our parentheses. So that's kind of a lot here. We're concatenating the first thing, the author's name, and then adding is, and then adding the character length, and then adding characters long. So we're building this sentence one piece at a time. And then we also need to specify from books. Okay, so let's take a look. Let's copy this, paste it in, and there we go. Lahiri is six characters long. Carver is six characters. Steinbeck is nine characters. Foster Wallace is 14 characters. Um, so that's working. By now, you should know we can use as to make this a little prettier. The only other thing that I'll take a moment to address is that this is kind of ugly. It's something that I do often to format my SQL, meaning my personal SQL, not my SQL the database, um, is use one of these formatters. So there's a couple of them. I like this one, sql-format.com. And I can paste in my query and just click format and it will just format it a little nicer for me. Um, and it depends on, you know, when things get really long, when you have long create tables, it will clean things up nicely for you. So in this case, this is a cleaned up version, not that much of a difference to be honest, but we can replace it anyways. It's a little easier to read. All right, so that's all there is to character length. That's all there is to char length.